Hey Tati, how are you? Hey Patrick, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good too, thank you. I'm really excited to be recording our, our next part of our series of our journey with uh, with Tatiana. Um, it's been really fun to, to find out about your, your progress through the Poolian course. So I've got a few questions um, and yeah, let's let's jump I'm in. <laughs> Which module are you currently on? Um, currently we are on um, TypeScript and from Monday we are actually moving to Node.js for the back end. How are you finding TypeScript? Um, there are still some parts which are not clicked fully, <laughs> so I need a little bit more time, but overall it's good. It's basically a JavaScript on, a, I don't know how you can say it, on a steroids. <laughs> <laughs> some extra features, which is super helpful. So it's okay. really mandatory to know it. And I hopefully it's something you'll get to practice more as well, even when you're when you're doing the node stuff as well. Oh, definitely, definitely. It's not just when the module finish, uh, like learning stuff. No, you 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 could you could be using it in your future projects, or there's always something to learn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> always. What's been your favorite module so far? Um, I would say React, the previous module, because when we started JavaScript, uh, it was a bit hard for me. I, I had some troubles with, uh, with uh, I couldn't figure out exactly. Uh, it was super hard for me because you need to append element yourself and uh, uh, it was just way too much is going on. <laughs> but when we start React, uh, I could see how much easier it is actually to do it in a React. So yeah, I would say React. For now. It could be the back end is your is your favorite bit. We'll find out. And um, I was going to say you've done a, an HTML project, a JavaScript project, and React project. Um, which has been your favorite one so far? Yes, that's going to be React. But it was super surprising for me. Um, the, <laughs> the HTML project when you were doing the React project, it felt like nothing. <laughs> and I was like, well, I wish the CSS would be my only problem now. <laughs> Have you been able to see like your growth from yes. that first project to now? Definitely, 100%. I can see my growth on a weekly basis for sure. Because sometimes it's easier to forget. Um, but then when you're going to go look back what you already have done and you would be like, oh, I can do this stuff definitely differently now. Well, having my current knowledge. And what, um, so if your React project was the favorite one that you did, um, what did you build for your React project? I built the e commerce website. So something like, um, I don't know, online delivery, you can say, kind of like online restaurant. So you can go, you can choose what you would like to order, you can add the basket, you can read about that company. Nice, nice, with all your lovely components and hooks and all this kind of stuff. Components and hooks, exactly. Even you know that. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing my research on, on some React. Um, we're also getting not so far off the end of the course, and I wondered if you had any more thoughts about what's what's going to happen when the course finishes, if, if you have any ideas about what you want to do next. Not yet. I mean, I do like front-end now, because that's what we learn so far. I'm really curious about the back-end, and uh, I think close to the end, I'm going to have more understanding where I would like to end up. For now, I'm not 100% sure because there are so many possibilities around. There are so many uh, different types of job, what you can do. We have our first careers session on Tuesday as well, so that'll be a good chance to dive I'm into. I'm really looking forward for it. I mean, I do stuff. know a little bit about the roles, and stuff, but I never went deep into it. So that would be super helpful for all of us. I guess maybe kind of a, a closing question would be, Yep. Knowing what you know now, um, three months into the course, what advice would you give to yourself or to someone who's just start at the start of their journey? Uh, uh, my biggest advice would be make sure always to ask questions. If you don't understand something, even if you think it's nothing, it might be uh, some big issue in the future. So if you miss something from the mentals, it's going to be way it's way more harder for you to move forward. So we do have help, we do have our teachers, and um, yeah, we also have help from each other as well. Uh, so yeah, I would say definitely ask, always ask. If something is not clear enough, definitely clarify. And um, your thoughts on pair programming? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I actually love it. You, you learn even more when you're working with someone plus it feels like you are sitting with someone in the same room not you're just sitting at home and learning by yourself 
um, it makes huge difference. Plus, you that, well. yeah. that, that connection, doesn't it? Definitely. And uh, one last thing I remembered was uh, we had cohort one and cohort two do some work together. I think you helped them with their HTML project for a day. Um, how did you find that? Um, they were doing the same project as we've done in the past. And um, you, by looking at this project, and you know what kind of mistake you made in the past. So you can, uh, I mean, we were kind of trying to guide them as <laughs> in, in, a, in a better way, not the one that we've done at the beginning. And uh, yeah, it was interesting experience because um, being able to teach someone it's a huge, huge part of your learning as well. Uh, because it's um, you kind of uh, makes your knowledge stuck in your head even more. Because for you, you know, like vocally trying to help someone, you don't even understand how much it's beneficial for you as well. So it was different experience, and also it was showing us how much we learn. <laughs> Maybe, maybe teaching in the future, who knows? It could be, it could be a you career path. <laughs> maybe I'm going to be one of the instructors in the future in Woolen. Yay! <laughs> Lovely. Well, Tati, thank you so much for making time to chat with me today. Um, we're really excited to see how Node is for you, how much you enjoy doing the back end, um, and also your final projects. I'm really, really excited to see what you will build. Um, and then, and then the fun begins when we when we start finding jobs. So um, a lot of exciting stuff to come. Uh, really impressed to see how far you've come in these few months, and looking forward to the next one. Perfect. Me too. <laughs>